Yeah, welcome to a new episode of the Advanced Java Tutorial Series. Today I show you how to manage your logging in your application with Log4j. Log4j is a project of the Apache Software Foundation. It's a Java-based logging utility and yeah, it will help us to uh, output the log statements from our programs. And yeah, it has really many uh, configuration possibilities which I will show and uh, yeah, first thing you need to do is to download the uh, log4j library from logging.apache.org log4j slash 1.2 then you go on the left side to downloads and yeah, simply download the zip file or the tar, whatever you want and when you downloaded this uh, you need to copy file, the file called log4j 1.2.17.jar and add this to your build path. So now we create an, a class to demonstrate this. Logging log4j so and yeah so first of all we need to create uh, the logger object and um, we create uh, I call it log and logger dot get logger though here we write our class file from which we want to log so this is basically everything you need and you can already write log dot info test message whatever and then you run it and yeah first of all you will get a warning an error because there is no append found for the logger log4j this means you need to uh, create the log4j properties first so we create a new folder here I call it properties and in this folder we insert a file this file is called log4j.properties. So this is the default file where log4j is looking for if it exists. So when it can find it, we need to add this to the build path first. So otherwise you wouldn't find it. Uh, so now it's in. And yeah. Now you got the uh, yeah, you got the property file, but it's empty, so we need to fill it. So first is log for j dot root logger. So this is where we define the logging level. So first to the logging levels, there are six different uh, logging levels. The uh, lowest one is the trace. Then comes debug. Then info. Then warn. Then error. Error. I'm oh, sorry. Then Fatal. And yeah, with lower I mean the priority though this has the lowest priority, this has the highest priority. And if you say here we set the uh, root logger to debug, everything below debug. So trace in this fall, or if I would set this to info, debug and trace would be lower, and then only uh, this logging level or the higher priorities would be shown or logged. So now I define uh, two log uh, panda so first we will uh, create one the other we will create later on this is to console and uh, yeah this as the name will say we will look to our console uh, console here bo uh, down here so we will write uh, I'll just comment this a bit log for j dot panda dot to console arc apache log for j console appender. So this is the default appender which brings us uh, log4j and yeah we define this as uh, something we want to log to our console so now we will yeah customize this a bit and we will define the layout so the layout will be log4j pattern layout 
So let me look with layout is uh, meant how the log message should look if you just print out right lock this text it's not only the text which will be printed there will be print some more things so these we will define now and layout oh, see missing so layout yeah. conversion pattern though this is actually the point where we define it so we say present d which uh, means the date and we only want the hours, minutes, and seconds. So this is uh, the lock level, and now we say present t, which is the thread, and now we say c dot present m, which is uh, the package and the class and the method, the class with the package and the method, which is currently called or where the log message was sent from and then we say present m present n which is the message that should be locked so now we can start the program and as i said a locked info test message so this will be shown here as you see it worked first was all date we said lock level the uh, thread main thread because there's only one thread here Look for j main so look for j uh, means the class we don't have a package here so uh, I will show you how it looks would look like with a package test package test package okay so we will move this and now I will start it again and you see test dot pack dot log for j dot main and this was what we want to print out and if I would change this to trace as we defined here, all we'll local this debug, so everything below debug won't be shown. The lock is empty. So this is how we can define the sensitive of the logger. Um, yeah, this is the one thing you can print out things at runtime. But if you want to keep these log messages, you need to lock them into a file. So we will create another appender, which is called. Or we call it to file, you can call it however you want. So this will be a daily rolling file appender. So log for j dot appender dot to file is an org apache log for j daily rolling file appender. So now we will define. So here we have to define some more things. For one, uh, first the file where we want to look. Uh, yeah, we write the file, and we want to write the file to uh, yeah the current location in subfolder log, and I call it log file log. So this you can customize this however you want. Where to write which name the file should have, and now we define. Uh, yeah, first I should say what a daily rolling file is. It's a file which yeah will be created newly every day. So if I log today something, the file has the name logfile.log. Tomorrow it will have the name logfile.log dot whatever I define now. Most likely it's the date of the t uh, of the creation of the file. So we will write panda dot to file dot date pattern. And here we write year, 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 month, and date, day. So this is just we write it backwards because uh, then it's better to sort. And yeah, th the simple, uh, the, s the yeah, this will create that cause that a file from yesterday would have will have uh, this file name. So two hundred thirty. 10, 18. So this would be the file yesterday and the day before yesterday it would be this and so on. So you would automatically get your files renamed so you have some sorting in your log files and we will also define the layout 
Now uh, we'll just copy this here. It's nearly uh, even, but we will add some more things. For once, we will remove this. If we do this, we also get um, out not only the time, also the date, uh, the date and uh, the milliseconds. So the milliseconds are not that interesting, but we wanted to know which date was locked. Uh, was was this locked? And this is the same. So here we add the percent L, which defines the line where the log file was given out. And yeah, this is basically all we need. And now we can say log debug message and and there's an error here. So let's quickly check this out. Right, copy paste. Um, fail by me so now it's right and you see it's locked here test message and if I refresh this a new folder was created called log and in this log file you see it's locked a bit different from the beginning and the line here but the rest is the same and yeah this is basically how you can configure log for j how you can use it want to show some one more thing so if we have a try catch here and we throw a new exception just for example search with some text in here and now we can say lock error e and if I run this you would see a simple uh, exception occur uh, occurred and yeah, basically nothing else than you would uh, make a system net print. But now you can also write comma e, and now it's not only printing out the message and the error occurred, also the stack trace. So you see those two lines were added, and whatever stack trace would come here, though this is just the main method. We don't call any sub uh, classes or whatever. So this would be shown here as well, and yeah, this is really uh, easy to use, and you can really do much more things than I just showed here, but yeah, just the basic introduction. So if you have any questions, uh, write a comment, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope I see you soon.